everyone welcome back to my channel I hope you all are having a great day I'm super excited in this video because I'm about to go on vacation for nine days and I'm so stoked and I've done this video one or two times before I did like a what's in my travel makeup bag so I figured I would film it with you guys and tell you what I'm taking this is the bag that I'm using this is a Vera Bradley makeup bag I love it because it has like six five or six five pockets and then it's huge but I also always kind of compartmentalize my makeup in like smaller bags that I then put in that bigger bag so I'm going to kind of do this vlog style I'm just going to kind of hold my camera and go through all my makeup with you guys and show you what I'm going to be taking so instead of just a what's in my travel makeup bag you guys are actually going to be packing with me which is a lot of fun and um just I'm going to put this out there I'm a really Typically, I'm a really minimalist packer, so hopefully that kind of stays the same as far as like packing. I hate overpacking because, I don't know, I just want to relax on vacation and not have to worry about a lot of stuff. So, um, also I wanted to say there won't be a weekly favorites this week because we're leaving early Friday morning, like 4 or 5 a.m. on Friday morning. So I didn't want to kind of stress about, you know, putting up a video Friday. So, um, that's it. Let's start packing. Okay, so I'm going to start out with primers. And this is the drawer that my primers are in, usually in this little tin thing. But I'm going to pick a primer that is in my um, Finish 13 by Halloween project pan. And so all that is kind of sitting in this little thing on top of my vanity, if you can see. So I'm going to take this Tarte Clean Slate Flawless Primer. Um... Gosh, it's almost gone, but this is the primer I'm going to take. It's a brightening primer, and then I'm also going to take my Make It Forever Step 1 primer. This is like a smoothing one, and it fills in, kind of fills in your pores. So those are the primers I'm going to take. And then as far as foundation, I'm working on finishing up the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte. So I'm going to take this, and I like to mix it with the Pro Glow. So these are the two foundations I'm going to take. I'm going to be gone for nine days. So hopefully I'll put a big dent in these while I'm gone. And then as far as concealer, you guys, I'm so obsessed with this. Like if I would have done a weekly favorites this week, this would be in it. It's the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. This stuff is like dreamy. It's really, really good. And that says a lot because I hated this foundation, but I love the concealer. I love the doe foot applicator. It's actually almost like cooling and it's hydrating. It feels good under your eyes. So I'm definitely taking this for concealer. And then let's just go ahead and stick in my eye primer. I'm kind of working on the base of my face. This is the Mika Beauty Eye Primer. This was in my most recent project pan. Obviously, I did not finish it. But I love this primer, so I'm going to take that. I don't plan on wearing a ton of makeup, but just in case. I am going to take this lip oil, too, because I have to have lip oil, like, every day. This is the Clarins, let's see, Insta Light Lip Comfort Oil. It's amazing, but it's expensive. I would just get the Milani one if I were you guys. And then for brows, I'm going to take my L'Oreal Brow Gel. And I might take this little bitty, how cute is this? This is the new Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil. I got this as a sample, so these are what I'm going to take for my brows. And then what else have we got over here? I will take a powder foundation. This is the Too Faced um, Cocoa Powder Foundation. I really like this, so I'm going to take that. And then to set my under eyes, what will I use? To set under my eyes, I'm going to take this e.l.f. High Definition Powder just because it's tiny and it's perfect for travel. Okay, so let's do bronzer. I'm just going to take one bronzer. I don't know. Let's take this one. The Physician's Formula Butter Bronzer because A, it smells like the beach and it's absolutely stunning and I don't need more than one bronzer. And then 
for blushes, you guys, don't judge me. This is my blush drawer, but look, I have a second blush drawer. So, what are we going to pick for blush? Um, I kind of want to do like a blush palette. That way I have a couple of choices. At least maybe, actually, you know what I'm going to take? I'm going to take this Bobbi Brown. You kind of pop in like the blushes you pick and I never reach for these. So I'm going to take this. That way I get some use out of it at least. And then let's pick a highlighter and we will be done with the face stuff. Oh, so many choices. I think I'm going to take the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Trio just because I love this center shade. I hit pan on it, but I can also use those other shades to kind of warm up my face and stuff. So I'm going to take that and that is it as far as like face products go. So let's see what I'm going to take for my eyes. I think I'm going to take my Visart palette. This is the neutral matte palette and I'm going to take this Ciate palette because it's just a fun palette and it kind of reminds me of vacation. Isn't that so fun? So I'm going to take these two. There's a lot of mattes. There's some pops of color. So those are the eyeshadow palettes that I am going to pack. And then I'm going to take my eyelash curler and I actually need to take a mascara. This is the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. This is the one I'm going to take, but I think I'm going to buy one while I'm there because I'm almost out of this already. It's like drying up so bad. And that is it for eyes. I'm going to take a couple of lip products here. This is Urban Decay's Back Talk. This is, this is such a beautiful, everyday, perfect, pinky, mauve nude. So I'm going to take that. I'm also going to take the NYX Butter Gloss in Cream Brulee. This is in my Finish 13 by Halloween too. I think I can get a lot of use out of that while I'm there. This is the Kylie Jenner Posy K Lip Liner. While I don't think I'll ever buy any more of these, I stinking love that color so much. So I'm going to take that and that also reminded me I need to stick in my little pencil sharpener that's all broken and nasty. And then what else can I take out of here? I think I'll take this. This is a good kind of, I don't know, it reminds me of the beach. It's easy. It's an Honest Beauty lip crayon. And look how fun that is. It's such a pretty pink. This lighting is horrible. I'm also going to take this little Wet n Wild um, finishing spray, or it's a setting spray rather, and so I'm going to use this, and I'm obviously going to take like tools and skincare and stuff, but I won't bore you guys with all of that. So that is actually all I'm taking in my travel makeup bag. Here is the bag. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you have a fabulous week. I'll show you. See, it looks really good inside. It looks organized because it's separate bags. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you later. Bye.